idea held by generations of citizens. Victory is hope. And individually, collectively, do the best we can. This is your victory. Trustees, teachers, and my parents and my dear students. It gives me enormous joy for me to come to school than any other place for various reasons. A, I am a granddaughter of a school teacher. B, I am a daughter of a professor. C, I am the daughter-in-law of a school teacher. <laughs> D, I myself, I am a teacher. <laughs> I used to teach computer science in Christ University. And later, I became so irregular than my own students. Then I said, I will come on a management than a teacher because my, my hectic schedules. Children give me enormous joy because, uh, because they are innocent. And this is the first time I'm addressing any school in Bombay. I have not addressed any school in Bombay. I have come only for the... <laughs> I have only come to Bombay for meetings, never to a school. So when there was an urgent meeting came down today, evening I have a seven o'clock meeting, then I thought, why can't I come a little early? Anyway, I, sp I waste half a day in Bangalore traffic reaching the airport. I rather leave at five in the morning, reach Bang uh, Bombay at 8.30, so that I can have a session with the students and that, then I opted for this. I'll tell you a small story. I am a grandmother of two grandkids. Like today's how grandkids are there, they are like that, normal, okay? <laughs> that means more talking and less listening. And uh, my granddaughter's name is Krishna and uh, she told me, they live in London. One day I told her to eat uh, banana fruit. You know, we India consider it's a good fruit. Eat. And then she said to me, Aji, give me law. She calls me Aji, like any... Canada grandmother is called, or Maharashtrian grandmother is called. She said, Aji, give me a set of reasons why one should eat banana, a five years kid. Okay? I said, Okay, I will tell you a story, and then you feel like eating, you eat. I said, There was a Rishi by the name Durvasa. I am sure most of you know. Whenever he used to go to anybody's place, they used to get scared of him. Why this fellow has come, let him go as early as possible. I'm sure when you are not a nice person, nobody welcomes you. One day his wife told him, look, people, when they, you go, people run away. Whereas I've stayed with you for such a long time. Don't you think I deserve a boon or a special gift? First he was very upset. Then he said, okay, fine, I'll give you a special gift. What do you want? She said, I want a fruit which is not grown in Devaloka or up above heaven, which is grown on the earth. Yet, it should be used to worship God. B, it should, it should flower once a year and it should not have any seeds. C, all parts of that tree should be used in cooking. D, it should give fruits only once in a year and the fruits should be not messy kind. You know, like not like a mango or apple. And such fruit, without giving that to God, the puja will be incomplete. He said, okay. He made a banana, he made a tree and gave the flower, a uh, fruit to, to the God. And then he called that, her name was Kadali. So he called that fruit as uh, a Kadali Fala. Kadali in Sanskrit became banana in English later. So whatever banana tree you see, that is the intelligence of a woman who told her husband the kind of fruit which is easy to eat, whose leaves are used for eating, whose bark is, uh, the stem is used in cooking, whose flower is used in a cooking, which flowers once a year and there are no seeds. So I told, it's such a great fruit on the earth, if you don't want to eat Krishna, you don't have to eat. But only learned people eat this one. What I'm telling you is, though, you know, every generation, it, it's really wrong to tell that our generation has a lot more stress. That is a totally wrong. Parents, please remo remove it from your head in case you have such things. I was in uh, Egypt about 15 years back. Then I took on Egyptology. That is a very, uh, a person who knows how to read hierography, who knows more about Egyptian history, and went to one place which is 7,000 years old. 
and there I saw the pyramid. Inside the pyramid there was hierography, so I asked that fellow, what it is written here, you tell me. This fellow told me, the builder of Egypt uh, pyramid have written about next generation. Next generation is, doesn't respect time, doesn't respect money, doesn't respect elders. They have less common sense, they are less hardworking. I really do not know how they will survive. Suddenly I felt like, you know, my parents talking to me like that. <laughs> Every generation feels next generation is less than ours. We are very hardworking, we talk. No, that is really not true. Every generation has their own plus and minus, some totally same. Any mathematics teacher or any students who love mathematics will appreciate this. What is 1 by 2? Half. 1 by 2 is 2 by 4. It is also equal to 3 by 6. It is also equal to 4 by 8. It is also equal to 16 by 32. The moment I say 1 by 2 and 16 by 32, 16 is a huge number, 1 is small. But the ratio remains the same. And that is the way every generation has their own plus minus their own strength. Nice. I have seen my great grandmother, my grandmother, my mother and me and my daughter, you know, six, seven generation I have seen. They were always worried about disease because if there, there was no antibiotic in those days. If the child gets fever, the mother would have been panicked. Today you go to a pediatrician, in those days it was not there. Next generation I have seen there was no connectivity. Coming to Bombay is once in lifetime, particularly from people from Karnataka. Every generation undergoes a different stress, but they do undergo stress. Now coming to this topic, they told me that you have to address student, uh, parents. I said I wanted to address students actually, but if parents are interested, I can. But students may get bored. But I want to tell something to students and then I will address parents. Students, you should understand one thing. When you are in school, when you are in school, somebody looks after you. Your teacher, your parents look after you. They will tell you some good words and you really get bored. When they start sermon, your mind goes away somewhere. Because I was also a student once upon a time. Too many things that someone tells you, then you won't like it, actually. You won't like it. And too many things we should not tell also. If we want to tell parents, you should always tell in the form of a story. Never tell directly, you should be hardworking. As a child, you may not like it. But please remember, people who care for you only will tell. Third person will not tell. Please under, don't underestimate your parents and your teachers. It's your duty to understand what they are telling, for what reason they are telling. And you have to, you have to actually accept it and later it will pay its price later part of your life. What you don't learn now will never be learnt later. It is always false ideas. When I grow big, you know, I will do. I don't know some, how many of you have read my book, uh, The Story of Portado. I don't Portado, know. It's a real life story. Portado was my classmate. He was reasonably bright. Maybe very bright, I suppose. Never he came to school. Never came to college. I was in engineering college. He used to stay. He was from Goa. He used to come. Uh, he was in the hostel and he never used to come to college. Our college was 7 to 11. He will come around 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock. Earliest mean 9 o'clock. And he will sit here, sit there, attend two classes. After that, afternoon he will come for the lab, etc. End of the year, he will, one month he will get up early and he will study and you know, there is a method in college. You take question papers, April and October. Whatever comes in October will never come in April. Okay? I'm sure in the school also you have. Midterm will never come to final. Okay? So eliminate these question answers and then make a approximate question paper and a study that and he used to get a first class. He did all four years like this. Once I asked Portado, Portado, why you, you are such a bright person? You don't come to class. If you come regularly, you can get distinction. You can get a rank. He said, Sudha, you do not know. In life, it is not the education. It is the connection, it really works. And we have to build a lot of connections. You know, in, in, when you are young, it helps you. I came from a middle class family. My father was a doctor, a gynecologist. I never understood this connection, all those things. Then he said, my father was in military, we were in Calcutta, there was a club, which we have never seen in our real life. So we thought maybe he's a big man. And Years passed. In 1972, I finished my engineering, so was Portado, and I didn't meet him for a long time. After 30, 35 years, I think 2008 or 9, I had been to Dubai to deliver a lecture. And when the lecture was over, I saw somebody waiting for 
And then he said, ma'am, I was waiting for you. I was surprised, a place like Dubai, who will wait for me? Then he said, I am portado. I could not recognize because in 30, 40 years, people put on weight, your hair will be grey. You know, all those physical changes will happen. I said, portado, I would not have recognized. I was very happy. I told him, oh, let's have, let us sit down and talk. He said, no, I just wanted to tell you one word. One word to you, so I was waiting. I said, what happened? He said, you know, do you remember in college I used to bunk class? I said, of course I remember you portado means bunking class. He said, I used to bunk class and I joined a job and the, because in those days, the moment you have B used to get a job in my time. And my bosses came to know that, my subordinates came to know that I don't have knowledge. Getting a first class marks are different than knowledge. Please remember parents, your children should be in the pursuit of knowledge than the marks. Though it's a competitive examination. I agree. It is a competitive world. It is a competitive world. Competition is thousand times or ten thousand times more than what time I had. But with all those things, the knowledge which always helps you than your marks in real life. So he said, I got marks but I did not have knowledge. Once the subordinates know that you don't have knowledge, they don't respect you. Once the boss knows you don't have knowledge, then he wants, an, uh, he wants a reason to kick you out. I was kicked out from one job, then I took a second job. And I was so much used to getting up 9 in the morning, I'll go late to the office. I was kicked out there also. Over a period of time, I couldn't get a job anywhere. And now I have a job as a manager job or a smaller job in Dubai. And my, I have two, I said, what about your family? He said, I have two daughters. I left them in Chennai to study. I said, what? He said, yes, I want they should study well. They should not become like me. I just waited for you to tell Sudha one thing. When you, we were young, I used to make fun of you. He used to tell me, you are like a, you are like a uh, running race horse. Because the horse will see neither left nor right, it runs. Same way, you always were academic and we used to make fun of you. Today, when we called you nerd, and I thought I was very smart, you know, today I feel you are successful and I wasted my life. I just wanted to tell you, if you don't, if you don't discipline, if you don't discipline when you are school or in college, you pay a heavy price in later part of your life. Discipline, like coming up in a proper way, writing properly, okay, talking properly, communicating properly, respecting people properly, this really helps a long way in your life. So I don't want, you should be like portado, regretting in the, your old age, you should remember that to be successful in life, there is no shortcut. The only method is hard work and straight way. And that you have to do. <laughs> Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to address both of you. And in case you have any questions in my limited knowledge, and my answers are highly subjective. Okay? It is not, you know, from any group theory I have taken. I will try to answer. Thank you once again.